Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to more of the 2003 Grade 10 Kaylee paper. We're looking at question number two. Question two says uh, 17 squared minus 15 squared equals... Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. If you are familiar with your Pythagorean triangles, just based on the answer, the fact that every answer here is squared, you might be aware of the 8, 15, 17 Pythagorean triangle, and so you would immediately jump to the answer of A. Or if you could calculate this in your head, you would eventually work out what these numbers are. Or, or of course, you can always grab your calculator because calculators are permitted. So you can certainly do that, or you know, we can work it out on paper, which is what we're going to do. Okay. So 17 minus 17 squared minus 15 squared. Well, that's going to be 289. You can, if you're having trouble with that and you don't have your calculator, you can always you know, multiply out by hand 49. So it should be 11 and then 0, 1, 7, 9, 8, 2. And 15 is going to be 225. The difference here, uh, if you need to, arrange them again vertically. You difference here, 4, 6. It's going to be 64. And hopefully you recognize that as 8 squared. Okay, that gives us an answer of A. Now, if you don't recognize 64 as 8 squared, uh, that's something I recommend is you take a look and try and memorize the first 10 or 20 squares so you're familiar with them. But we could always just go through and say, okay, well, then what is 8 times 8? Is that 64? What is 2 times 2? Is that 64? What is 4 times 4? Is that 64? We're given its multiple choice, so we could, if we were having trouble figuring out what 64 is, we could always just calculate each of these answers out until we found the one that is 64. But we know our answer is going to be A, through whatever means we employed. And that does it for question number two. We're going to take a look at question number three, but that'll be in the next video.